Hello everyone, welcome again in Angmin YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on CO2 storage modeling and simulation using CMG software. Okay, so we have covered many, many, many things. In previous video, we have run the case using JAM. A JAM is the simulator, the simulation machine, and we already get the, the file, okay? to be visualized, to be interpreted. And this is the file, co2injection.sr3, okay? You can also see this window, all right? If you want to change the view, you can click this button, okay? As icon or as list, like this, okay? And you see we have in this section input, Right now we are in the input and later if you want to make the plot here and this is to visualize the grid under reservoir section. So plots folder to make the plot, okay? And reservoir section to view the grid, okay? So far so good. Here I want to show you the IK two dimensional view. Okay, and this is our grid in IK view. And under the display or wells, yeah, you can click left button and then move the grid like this. Okay, the starting point is the year 2000, January 1st. We are currently in home. You go to view, you get this one, including aspect ratio. And then in display, we have the player. Okay, you see, we have play controls here. Later, we will use this, this icon or this setting. Right now, we are looking at the pressure grid. Okay, the property is pressure in the grid. All right, and then we can right click. And you see, we are looking at pressure right now. But if you open the drop down menu, you can visualize many, many parameters. For example, static property permeability in K direction, or water saturation, or water viscosity. Okay, and this is the plate. Total blocks and also active blocks. And uh, the title will, will be changed as per the property we select. But right now, I'm most interested in gas saturation because we are playing with CO2. Okay, and CO2 will be considered as gas in the simulation. Select gas saturation. Okay, this is the starting point. Gas saturation, green color. Okay, green color, it means it's very, very low. The saturation, the gas saturation initially is very low. Okay, and then we can just click play button. And you see, we inject gas, we inject CO2. Okay, for, for only one year. And then you see there is no propagation or there is no change in gas saturation because we stop injecting. We inject only one year. And after one year, we shut in the injector and now the CO2 plume, the CO2 will move up due to gravity. Okay, CO2 will move up due to gravity. And of course, because it's CO2, the gas saturation is high here in this section. This is the CO2 plume. This is the CO2 injected. And now across the time it expanded or it is distributed and as actually it is set situated on the top section, okay? Because yeah, the CO2 is lighter, okay? Lighter than the water, so it will move up due to gravity and be trapped. Right now we are, we are still concentrating on the structural trapping. So here we have the aquifer and the CO2 is trapped in our 
aquifer structurally. Okay, so we still involve heavily on the structural trapping. The CO2 cannot migrate to somewhere else due to the structural trapping by the aquifer. Later on, we will also consider the residual trapping, solubility trapping, and hopefully mineral trapping. Okay. So again, we only inject for one year. Okay. From this side. Okay. From this edge. And after one year of injection, the, the, the injector is shut in and CO2 will move up due to gravity to the top section of our aquifer and be trapped due to structural trapping. And it will move, it will become thinner and thinner and thinner. And as it thins out, it will elongate it. It will expand it areally. At the same time, it will be thinner vertically. Okay, that's a more stable condition for the gas. Okay, so it will not be thick, it will be thin, but aerially it is it will be quite wide in area. And again, green color means very low saturation, red color relatively high saturation. Okay, you can also right click the palette and you can edit the color scale, for example, here. Okay. The maximum right now is 0 0.8 and the minimum 0, 0.0. You can also change the minimum and maximum boundary like this. Color preset CMG or maybe intensity if you want. Okay. Intensity, radiance, red seismic, temperature. Yeah, you can also monitor as per this, the temperature. Radiance, red, blue, okay, or the CMG setting. You can use RGB color or HSV color, okay? Interval, dynamic or based on number of intervals. It's quite simple setting it here. You can also right click and change the color. Let's say to visualize water saturation, I prefer not green color, but blue color, okay? Edit color, click OK. It's like this, OK? If we change it to 0 0.8, we can click. Yeah, you can also move this scale to change the color. In this case, I just want to click OK. And right now we are in the year 2070. You can click this button. If you want to fast forward to the end of the simulation, the year 2200, you can also drag like this. Let's say we want to drag here or play like this. Okay, so we start by injecting from the three lowest grid, three lowest layer, but it will quickly moves up due to gravity. Okay. We can also click this button manually to see each time step. You see, November, December, and 2001, we already stopped injecting. There is no, there is no more propagation to the eastward side, okay? Because there is no more injection, the CO2 will go up due to gravity.
it thins out and then it is spread aerially like this one. Okay, so so far so good. All right. And if you if you have, for example, seismic or the seismic, you can visualize the spread, the distribution of your CO2 plume, like this one. Okay, so I think that's all. You see, so the, the simulation, the modeling is quite simple, but of course, there are still many, many things to learn for CO2 storage case. And in previous section, we have completed the results visualization and interpretation. And at this point, it's a safe time for us to save the project, okay? So it's a proper time for us to save the project. We need to capture the result right now, this milestone, and later on we can compare with, with other new cases that we create, okay? So for that, we can go to the file here file okay after file and then save project now i want to save project file as as what so i place it inside the document okay document cmg ccs for example or cmg ccus saved as type it is results file dot results not dot out or dot sr3 it's dot results this result will contain the visualization okay will contain the yeah what we see inside this in this feature okay so let's say co2 for example base okay so that's this is the base case. We inject only for one year and then we monitor for 200 years. So we start with CO2 base. So it's very easy, click save. All right, it has been saved and we can continue to do the next cases. All right, so I see you again. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully this video and the, the entire videos to date until until now it's very useful for all of us to learn this very interesting topic with very useful tool okay so see you again thank you